Yes guys, it's your boy Fuddy and welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day on the AFC 24 Ultimate Team, or at least it should be, with the Trailblazers promo dropping today. This Trailblazers promo certainly looks to be probably the best promo of the year so far. There's definitely a lot to talk about on this promo Friday, but before we do any of that, boys, we've got to cover yesterday's content, which, to be fair, it's a Thursday. It usually is pretty grim, and that is exactly what way it was yesterday. If we go to the SBCs, just the one SBC yesterday that was actually shown... There was two SBCs, I'll get to that in a second, but we did get marquee matchups, as always, on a Thursday. Um, obviously, we have a Belgium-Sweden for a small Electrum, a small gold for Uruguay-Brazil, we had a small prime gold player pack for Netherlands-France, and England-Italy for a prime mixed. The group reward being a premium gold player pack, so I guess, yet again, just... Get them done. Um, obviously, extra packs for today's promo, I guess. Obviously, with the international break on this week, obviously, these games are based upon that. They're, they're national fixtures. And, uh, yeah, if any of you boys have any of these players in your club from these nations and you've already finished this marquee match of SBC already and you've got excess players from those nations, potentially worth listing up. Because more than likely, they probably have risen in price. Now, last night also marked the day whereby we were meant to get our pre-season packs. So, if you boys remember back to the end of FIFA 23 where we had joined the club objectives, you complete those objectives in order to unlock rewards for EAFC. Those rewards were meant to come out yesterday. If you guys had grinded all the Join the Club objectives a few months ago, back in FIFA 23, you should have got yesterday an 82 times 10, an 83 times 5, an 84 times 3, and three E-Figs upgrade packs. People did get the 84 times 3, and they did get the E-Figs upgrade. However, EA made yet another mess up yesterday and released an 85 times 5 rather than an 83 times 5. They're never too far away from a mistake, this company, are they? Now, the 82 times 10 pack was also something that we should have seen in our store yesterday, guys, for a Award. But a lot of people didn't receive it, so that's another pack that we're still waiting on. EA Sports FC Direct Communication, the Join the Club 3 preseason award was incorrectly given. Players an 85 times 5 player pack. The award has been temporarily disabled while we address the issue and will return in the coming days. EA love that phrase, don't they? In the coming days. It's just it's just buying themselves time. But I do think we will see those packs return to the game very soon. Both the 83 times 5 and also the 82 times 10 should be in people's accounts very soon as well. Now, another bit of leaked content that we did receive yesterday, a bit of news surfacing in the community, was this Hector Bellerin, Europa League. So if I bring him up here and I go to concept, you will see that the card is there. Now, if I go through my SBCs, guys, he's not there. This card has been leaked, and obviously now he is officially in the game in some capacity in this concept, so I'd imagine this card will be added to the game very, very soon. All right, guys, so we've got to talk about the new promo that is coming to Ultimate Team today, Trailblazers. Some of these cards look absolutely incredible. This promo team is looking cracked. We've got Mbappe, Hansen, Salah, Griezmann, Ruben Diaz. We've got a Jude's, a really nice looking fallback Di Lorenzo card, and a really nice Kunde card also. Trailblazers brings players to start the season on fire for their clubs. All of them received in-form upgrades to better represent their form and new or updated playstyles. And I like that as well. Obviously, we're getting the playstyle bonus as well. So it's new or basically it says new or updated. I'm taking that as new and new or improved or new and improved, really, right? So they're gonna be um probably better playstyles on these players than they currently have on other cards they've got, whether that's their base or whether or not they've had any previous special cards in this game. And as we already know them with any other promo card, they obviously get that upgrade as well, which they have done. But uh, there's so many nice cards man it really is a really really good looking promo i mean drop a comment and let me know what you think of the car design as well boys I, I personally i'm a fan of it i do like the red and the kind of blue kind of dark blue navy colors of it so but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments on the car design as well so if we start to look at some of these cards guys where obviously they've got trailblazer cards coming in in, in, in fut today we obviously look at this griezmann for example i mean he today has been eighty nine thousand at the start of the day and he's went straight on up, and he's 94, and that will probably continue to rise. Obviously, his gold card is going to be out of packs, so we, as expected, those players are rising. And obviously, with Weekend League being today as well. If you scroll down here, another example, for example, Bellingham is his base card up. Let's have a look. We've got him over here, 103k at the start of the day, and he's rose already about 7,000 coins up to 110. And as yet again, I expect that to continue to rise. Let's have a little look at Hansen, obviously the women Norwegian player. Um, she is getting a Trailblazer card today. What is her base card looking like? Now, obviously, she's already going to be a very expensive card. We know how good she is in the game. At the start of the day, she's at 6.71, and then yet again, just went through a few dips and stuff, but she's rose now in price and settled somewhere around 6.73. She hasn't moved up too much right now, but I, as, as I say, yet again, with, like with the Bellingham, like with the other cards, any card that has a gold version of this game that's desirable, that's getting a promo card today, will likely rise in price for a multitude of reasons, but mainly because, one, they're obviously their, their promo card is going to be in packs, so their base card is out of packs, therefore the supply is less. And second of all, obviously, Foot Champs Weekend League, these desirable cards, their base gold versions, 
are going to be very, very desirable for people for the weekend league teams, and also even better for people, obviously, that can't afford the, the, the promo versions of these cards, like the Trailblazers. So, yeah, these cards are going to be rising in price, I'd imagine, as the day progresses. And obviously, guys, as I've mentioned, you know, it is a Friday, it is the start of another weekend league, and obviously that will cause the prices of meta meta tier cards, popular cards in this game to rise. People like, you know, the Diabis, the Eda Militaos, the Varans. Let's take and Dembele, for example, there as well, Rashford. Obviously, let's take Varane, for example, right? This Varane card, obviously, today, he started off at 83, and you can already see his price. He's up at 87,000 coins now, so it's already had, like, a 5k increase, and that will keep increasing as the day progresses, I do imagine. Now, there is still one SPC that we have not seen yet in EAFC 24 Ultimate Team, and that is the Max 87 Base Hero Player Pack. Now, I am surprised that this SPC has not been released yet, guys. I really did expect it to be. Um, I thought... I wasn't sure if it released last night, because obviously Thursdays are usually pretty dead for content, and especially with the preseason packs coming out last night, I thought EA would just focus their attentions on that. But I really did think a couple of days ago, on Wednesday evening, I thought that would be the day they would release it, because um, on Wednesdays, on, in years gone by, you know, it's always been quite a decent day for content, alongside the new team of the week. However, it still has not released in this game, and that is obviously putting the question on when it will be released. Now, can we see this 87 hero pack today? Well, there's a chance. There is a chance of it. Um, For me, on a Friday, EA probably want their attentions to be... Obviously on these uh, on this new promo today on Trailblazers, and they probably don't want too many distractions from that, from people buying packs in the store, getting them their money. So I don't know about an 87 plus hero pack today. I think it, my prediction will be Sunday, but we are going to take a look now into some of the hero prices because obviously on Wednesday we did see there was quite a fluctuation in prices. A lot of hero prices were going down, obviously because people were kind of panic selling them, thinking that obviously the hero pack was releasing. It didn't. Um, and I'm going to show you boys now what way to expect if you're owning any hero cards right now. Should you keep? Should you sell? What should you do? Alright guys, so in terms of the hero market today on this promo Friday, what are we expecting? So if I pick a random hero card here just to check prices, let's go with John Anarisa for example, right? So we'll click on him, um, and let's see what way his price is kind of fluctuating. So obviously, as I said, on Wednesday, whenever people thought the hero pack might release on Wednesday night, there was a big sell-off. Not with every hero, certainly the cheaper end of the spectrum of heroes, uh, the cheaper end of the market on hero cards, there was definitely a drop-off in prices. If we look at this John Anarisa for example, right? So... Obviously, he started today at 120k. He's actually went through a rise in price there at 128. So he is back rising in price again. I think we may see this um, with these type of hero cards that are maybe around 100, 200k price range. They might take a little bit of a, a increase over the next couple of days, similar to what I said with the uh, with the obviously the gold cards and stuff. Kind of popular meta cards in this game will rise a little bit because of the weekend league starting. Let's check another one. Let's see. We've got say we go for a Bon Pastor. Let's have a little look at this card, okay? So obviously coming in 81k. Good Arley today, and she started at 77k, she's now rose up to 79, so a little small increase there as well. And we'll do one more, we'll go with a Jason Park, for example, and we'll see what he's rose to. So he started the day off at 167k, and he's now rose up to 182. So it just shows, boys, right now the hero market is kind of on the up. Now, I think that's probably due to weekend league yet again. I mean, a lot of these hero cards, people are looking them for you know, additions and, and purchases for their weekend league squads, so it makes sense that they're rising in price. Obviously, it is, um, th this, th these increases in price also show that, you know, amongst the, the majority of the FIFA community right now, people aren't expecting this hero pack to release today. I think there's a chance it could, but if I was to put my money on it and I was to put uh, a, a big prediction in, I would probably say, have to say Sunday. I think Sunday usually is a day that we do get something like a hero pack icon pack in, 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 in FIFA's gone by, so I would say Sunday's my prediction for it, certainly, and when we're doing Sunday morning's video, it'll be interesting to see what way these hero prices are at, because I think they might rise for a little bit throughout the day, um, and then, you know, obviously they'll have a massive decline if in the off chance the hero pack releases tonight, but um, as I say, I think it'll happen on Sunday, and then obviously Sunday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, these hero prices, I would say, will start to really decline in price, as people will be awaiting the new hero SBC. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. If it's been helpful, make sure you hit that like button for us. Don't forget to subscribe and join the channel. We are live again on this channel later on for the Trailblazers promo. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.